supposed to be like fixed. But I don't know. I've already seen it do wacky things today. So it's like after the patch is already still doing weird shit. So all right, here we go. Game Juan, the classic. So this is going to be real interesting because both these guys play super patient. Although I think Sad out. Oh, he's got. He's stuck oh. him already. Back oh, through. Oh, it switched. He waited a little too long now. What? Maybe he did that intentionally. I don't know. He's back oh, on it now. Oh, what? Wow. I'm surprised. He, he got through. Got it. through it with the focus attack. Is this? Damn. You don't see Snake going for this sort of thing very often. Also, usually he picks Lucina in this matchup. So I don't know. We'll we'll see what's going on. It's only winners final. So if this was Grand's, I can understand because he'd have a set to work with maybe. But anyway, maybe I, I trust Sad Hour. He's a smart cookie. Lucina probably gets punished harder now, or obviously definitely gets punished harder now. Mm, yeah, yeah, for sure. Maybe he's going to try and play way more defensive and campy, yeah. which Lucina can't really do. Although Lucina just like, has a, such a strong edge guard game, especially against someone like Ken, who's a little weak off stage. you know, he's a little exploitable. So we'll see how it goes though. He's already up a stock now, so... I have no idea how Snake works, like at all. Really? Yeah. I don't In what way? No like idea. I have no idea what, what, how grenades work, how his moves all work. <laughs> the grenade. <laughs> like he can walk around holding them, he looks super weird like that. Mm. So, Literally. when he pulls the grenade, which he does in a single frame, yeah. he, put, oh, he, yeah. he spawns a grenade in a single frame and he holds onto it. When he's in that weird motion, where yeah, he like walks and he holds it behind shit. him, you, he can throw it, but only in a certain trajectory, but he can drop it on the ground and then pick it up like a regular yeah. item from that point, and then he can throw it and Z drop it and do all that stuff. Grenades explode in about 2.5 seconds. So from, from the point that he pulls it, in two and a half seconds, it's going to explode. But if you hit it with a hitbox, it will explode. Right. Most hitboxes, not all hitboxes, but like most like normal moves and stuff definitely will. But I think like some projectiles and shit there. Uh, no, I think it's more just like certain... Because you know how certain moves have like properties and effects like fire or electric and shit like that? I think some of those don't do it maybe because I've seen it not break on certain things, but I don't know. How he can just get out of combos with, with grenades. Yeah, it's yeah, it's pretty crazy, grenades. right? Although, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Although, if you if you do hit him, you can hit Snake and not hit the grenade, if you know what I mean. Like, the hitbox has to actually hit the grenade okay, grenade yeah, yeah. for it to work. So if you can hit just his legs or something, if he's above you, yeah. then I'll, you, what you'll also see a lot is that people will hit the grenade and it will blow both of them up and then they will get the advantage again because they'll both get hit upwards in the air and then you can hit Snake again with, like, another upper or something. Yeah. So it's not always in Snake's favor, I guess, but it's worth it's worth doing most of the time, you know? It's just such a good option because, like, even if you know that he's gonna do it, like, you can't. It's really hard to call him out for pulling a grenade. Like a character like Lucina, to 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 escape combo, she's gonna up B, right? If you know she's gonna up B, you can just like back off. She'll put out the up B, and then you've got plenty of time to punish because she's got to fall all the way. But if you're like, oh, Snake's gonna pull a grenade, he gets away. He's got a grenade, but there's not really that much in the way of counterplay that you can do. So yes, it's really broken, and I can't believe Snake wasn't nerfed in this patch. <laughs> anyway. Damn, got him with that back air. It's coming down to the wire for this one. Oh, that's got him. That up tilt is up tilt busted. All right, well, he's won game one with Snake. We'll I change. love Snake crawling under the Hadouken. <laughs> yeah. We Thicken has, like, the budget version of Snake's crawl. She doesn't move nearly as fast, right? Yeah, She's pretty she, slow. She does a little hop. Yeah, yeah, so it so raises her up again. So yeah. yeah. But I think hers goes a little bit lower. Surely. She gets right down there. Limbo. Actually not, she's facing the ground but anyway. What happened to Falcon's mm. side B that makes it nuts? Um, I think it comes out quicker. Yeah. What about Like, because it has an activation hitbox. Yeah. So it doesn't always have a, a like, the hitbox isn't always there, but when it sees that someone's there, it activates the hitbox. I think okay. at that point, the, the hit comes out quicker. So it confirms easier or something. I hope Flex gets top three, I don't want it to freeze. <laughs> Did he downgrade it to top three? He doesn't have to win the tournament, he just has to get top three to buy a heater. He has to just get some money. Anyway, same stage. They love it. They love this stage. Good neutral stage. Anyway, see, yeah, these guys both play so patiently. You can just see him like... Oh, that was a little impatient. Damn, he thought he was going to pop through, but he didn't. I think a lot of characters, you can like space your dash attack. And on, like, on certain hits on shield, you'll go through and certain ones you won't. Man, try to end his whole career right there. You see that? Try to walk Is off that the floor. Spike on that last hit. 
forward air. The, the down, that little leg kick. Oh no, the kick? No, the kick doesn't. Snake's forward air spikes. Oh, right. At the end, yeah, the, big, the, big, the big scissor kick. kick. Yeah, that move is bust. Snake looks so weird when he's doing moves. His leg, he's so flexible. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's like a gymnast wearing his tight, his tight spandex. Oh my god, he didn't die. He's so high up in the sky. <laughs> oh no! So Got him strong. the third time. Damn. Maybe so I just don't like know damn if he's it. Trying to not do the fire one those first two times. I think, I think yeah. In that situation, that's the most beneficial one to do. Is it combo? What the non-fire one? Yeah, because the, the hitbox is up higher. Or something. I honestly couldn't tell you to be honest, but it's. The fire one, the, the hits come out quicker, and I think it's slower to get to the air. Just Street Fighter things. Just Street Fighter things, yeah. Different. Just gonna kill? No, he focus attack. Damn, gets great. back to the stage. That was beautiful. Wow! Alright. That first one hit his shield, and he, he was already doing that. That's so strong. Yeah, so this has gone a little bit differently for Sad Hour. If he can keep the rage, and look up tilt, get up tilted. Damn, once he's known that, like, barely sent him anyway. That's gonna get him, though. Still has the exploiter recovery after all the buffs. Ooh. Damn, that, like, dropped him back on the ground at such a low percent. It's interesting. Ken's got an avocado. Ooh, no punish. I actually don't know. I assume he could... It looked like he could have punished that, but he just didn't hit him in the right way. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, he escapes. So he's up, he has super armor. Ah, Snake. uh, snakes? You have to do 12% in a single hit to break the cypher, or hit him out of it, so... Yeah, yeah, basically, it's a super armor of a sort. Damn, he's a little desperate here, going for these deep edge guards. So yeah, you have to hit it with uh, at least like a 12% damaging move. See how that pushes him up? there. Previously, when he did that show, you could the first two hits, and then Snake like, shifts upwards until he's like, all the way ahead above him, like he's already standing up here, and yeah. then the final hit hits him. Like, that's where the buff is coming from. Like, it's killing earlier, yeah. because if he hits him here, then he's going from the ground and getting settled. It's cool. <laughs> but, it pushes him up into the air, so that he's he's getting launched from a higher position, so he's closer to the boss zone. Can I Way too many moves for me to keep track. <laughs> yeah, it does, right? So insane. I saw the patch notes and it was like, it was like, oh, strong up tilt first hit. And I was like, oh, fuck, I, I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> Let's put it down again. I was like, Shadrill, no. <laughs> Ken's recovery isn't that bad or recovery options. Uh, it's not great either, though. Distance wise, it's decent, but he's slow in the air and like when he's locked into the Tatsu, so like once he starts spinning towards the stage. He can't stop it, so... I guess it's sort of like a... If, you, if you're a god like Shadri, you can, like, use down B to get back on stage and... Yeah, yeah, he does. He certainly has options, yeah. but um, a lot of characters, like, he he sort of gets locked into a situation where he, he only has one that he can use, because the Shoryu doesn't actually go that far, and, like, once he loses his jump, he's put in a really tough spot, so, like... Damn, so, Sadow's was going Snake... Wait, what are we... Is, this, is it 1-1? One, one? I'm pretty sure, right? Yes. This is the new patch. We could didn't get much in the main buffs. Damn, look at the parries. Oh, got him. That was crazy. Yeah, what did she get? Any just the jab thing? Just jab. That's right. You know, I think she's pretty in a pretty good place, right? Yeah. You just be happy she didn't get nerfed. Right. You know? <laughs> oh, okay. I think that'd be great. Those parries were good, but like, mm -hmm. I guess when you play against Snake all the time like this. Oh my god! Weak back air to strong back air? Damn, dude. I've never seen Snake do anything like that. I just gotta bring this back here. Ooh, that's just like, that's just like whiff from, he was very close there. I don't know, weird. Get him. Ooh, he got hit by the mortar, couldn't follow up. Happening. He used he he's using cipher all the way up in the sky because like you can't kill yourself off the top. Yeah. So like he just keeps going higher and higher and higher. Like it's impossible. Yeah, it's impossible, it's impossible to kill. And then it takes him forever to fall back down. 
Being able to act out of up B is actually pretty good strong. Yeah, because then, you know, he gets to pull the grenades and throw them down the C4 yeah. and things like that. I've even seen him do uh, Nikita, like the, the missile launcher yeah. as well. Like he, So he gets to throw things at you as he falls back down. Damn, that last hit on there. Oh, he messed that up there, I think. Yeah. It's hard to say, like, I never know whether he messes him up or not. <laughs> no, I think that you can say for sure. If he doesn't finish him off and send him very far away, you can almost be certain that he messed up somehow. There's only like two or three things that he does that doesn't finish in a sure you can, so. Yeah, see, there it is. Damn. Shadrub's onto it, though. He's like, get over here. That's gonna do it. Yep. That was weird, weird hits. Yeah, Ken's one of those characters who, like, can ri Alright, well, I was gonna say he can make comebacks, which he, he can. I've definitely seen him make comebacks, so... But Sado is doing pretty well with Snake here in a matchup where he would typically pick Lucina, so... I guess he's maybe had a little bit of a... little bit of a think when he's trying something different, or maybe he's just trying to mix it up on Shadru, because sure, yeah. normally Shadru does see the... see the Lucina, so this time he's like, you know what, I'll give you the... give you the Snake. See what you... see what you think of this. Snake? Anything happen to Snake in the changes? I think he also got a jab change. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, the. And that is all. Yeah. No nerfs whatsoever. Uh, Pretty yeah. rough, to be honest. He could do with, like, some minor stuff. Well, he could do with not being able to link jab into forward tilt, that's for fucking sure. Yeah. <laughs> that shit that. Yeah, His grenades are, like, the craziest thing. He Look just, at this! He can just hold shield and grenade. Oh, my uh, God! Yeah, but that's... Dodge. Oh! That's four! Four in a row. Can we see five? No, we can't. Oh, damn. Shadru didn't get, didn't really get an opportunity to punish that. You see, Sad Hour is, like, really, really good at maintaining his pressure using Snake's tools. Like, the beam moves, you know, grenades and stuff like that. Like, the C4 will always be in a good slot. And using the up smash and things like that. So he drops a grenade behind him, and then he moves on. So if you roll behind, the grenade's gonna explode. So he traps you there, you know? And he can just he can just play with your mind because if something's nearby, you're gonna hold shield, and then he'll be there grabbing you already, you know that sort of thing. Snake's a really tricky character that you just really need to like spend a lot of time playing against to figure out what you want to do and things like that. A lot of the time, there's really nothing you can do. It's just like, oh wow, all right, 120. It's pretty rough. Ken and Snake are both characters you really have to know how to play against. Oh yeah, you really gotta know, you you wanna know what sort of things they, they're gonna be going for. Sado is super smart, both these guys are big brain as hell. He's the sort of guy who practices matchups and things like that. Like, he will prepare for characters and players. Which is a big part of being a good player, you know, so. Combo off here, could probably get a lot of damage. Oh, he's dead, for sure, yeah. So, there's the best option there to tech roll out of that. Can you even tech That's, that? That's, no, you can't tech it. He puts you on the ground, in a grounded state, so you get to roll or get up attack. It's just like you get knocked over yeah. normally and you don't tech. Um, at a certain percent, I think that four tilt was probably true. Because at a certain percent, when he lays you down, he, he gets more and more plus frames, and eventually he can, at 160, he can hit everybody with an up tilt guaranteed. Which is a, like, basically, a kill confirm, like you can't get out of it and it will, it will kill you. And I think on a, on a large number of characters you can get 4 tilt at something like 140 or something slightly earlier and that's that's what he hit him with there. It's basically just like a kill throw, you know. But yeah, at lower percents, he lies you down to the ground and it instantly puts you in a tech chase situation. Yeah. That house sort of seems to be running away with this hit. Damn, that was nice. Traded with the hit. He's gonna lie him down. Yeah, there you go. Mm. That's it. Alright, well, there you go. Not too shabby. Sadru couldn't pull it through. But Sadar does it with the snake, which is not the typical matchup we would see there. So, I mean, he's gonna be pretty happy with that, right? Sadar. One, two, three. One from Shadru. Submit score. So, Sadar is sitting pretty in grand finals. Winner's side. Who's, who's Shadrick going to burst now? I think we've still got a, a fair bit of the losers.